Hi guys. We're going to show today the process that we do to change the oil in the Harvest Right vacuum pump. So we used to have an oilless. It broke. It's like tucked over here. So now we're using this pump here and you have to change the oil on a regular basis by regular basis, usually like every time or maybe every other time. Um, yes, I find it to be a pain, but this is the process that, that we've come up with that seems to work the best. So this is the pump from the oil from last time, the last change, and it's been filtered. So the first thing we have to do is pour that into an empty container like we have here. This oil will be used to fill up the pump the next go round. And this will make sense in a second. So empty that out into there. And then we take, I find that I always make a mess. It doesn't matter what, <laughs> doesn't matter how I do it. I always make a mess. So I work on the floor because if I'm up high, it's gonna, it's gonna cause a problem. So the next thing you want to do is we have a ball jar in the freezer da, 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 that has the oil that came out of the pump last time. The reason that you want to freeze it is you can, I don't know if you can see, all of this is water. So this is the water that's been building up over multiple times, but the water will settle out and freeze on the bottom of the um, jar. When I didn't do that and I put this in the filter or through the filter, the first time I tried this, it couldn't go through the filter. It never went through. So if you do not let it settle out and let the stuff freeze at the bottom, you can't get it to go through the filter. So I find that if I do this, now it's really thick and stuff. You're not gonna be able to use that oil. It's gonna take a couple days for that to go through, which is why we have these two containers. So now we set that to the side and actually I put that back in the box because I do not want it to fall over. And I get very, uh, I am accident prone. So that stays in there. If it falls over, it's in a container. So now we are ready to drain. I found this really cool, it's actually a scooper that uh, you can use to get food out of the tray. And I found that the better use for me is propping up the back of the pump. It's perfect. It puts it up, puts it at the angle that I want it. Then you go ahead, I go ahead and open up this I keep this in here just for turning that, the, the wrench. I just kind of open it up. There is an O-ring. Sometimes it comes off, sometimes it doesn't. I just make sure, because I don't want to lose it. it, needs to be there. I put it on the top. Then we open this up and we let it start to drain. And that will, uh, the important thing is you want it to be tilted, but you don't want it to be tilted too much. You don't want the oil to come back up into the filter. You want the um, oil to come out, but the water won't come out. The water will stay in there if you leave it flat. So by giving it that tilt at the end, when this starts to drain the rest of it out, it becomes water. And, and you'll start to see that. So then once this is drained out, this will be ready to go back in the freezer and then it will settle down and the stuff will freeze at the bottom. And we're just gonna go through this process to show you just how, we're just gonna film all the way through so we can determine how long does it take the average person? Because I am not super fast. I'm pretty much an average Joe. So this is how long it takes for an average Joe to change the oil in this pump, if you're considering. So it is a pain in the butt, but this pump is, it works. And if maintenance has to be done on this pump, then supposedly you can do it yourself. 
And that's pretty important because that oil is pump that we had, we still have it because we haven't sent it back because it's gonna cost like $400 is something about the scroll seals or whatever that we can't do. And um, yeah, just that, that just, that just didn't work out for our business plan. So we are gonna be using this pump instead and it's been working fairly fine. So one of the things, so this pump, this oil here is oil that got drained out of, so you remember when we put the oil out of the filter into here, um, this is what that was last time, the last time I changed the pump. So this oil is now going to be what's used to put into here. And if you remember, I mean, we're pretty close here because if you remember how much oil I poured out of it. One thing the, the one thing that did happen to me was, like I said, so I got this the first time. I didn't know about freezing it. That was some that was a tool, a tip that I got off the internet from somebody else. And I didn't freeze it. I, I drained it, I poured it in here. This had a brand new filter in it, and I sat there and I waited and I waited. And then I left it overnight and came back. And not a drop had come through the filter, not a single drop. And I was so frustrated because this is my first time, like, like even using this pump. And, you know, I, I didn't want to be changing the oil every time, but turns out that, um, it, it's not that bad. You get used to it. Just hang in there. Do you have anything? you'd like to add to this experience? Well, <clears throat> it's uh, not every time. We don't change it every time, do we? Um, it depends. It depends on, so depending upon what you're freeze drying, if you're freeze drying something that has a lot of water that has to be taken out, it it's pretty apparent that the water gets mixed in. You'll see the water will come up, the, the line will come up the oil will come up real high above the line and stuff. And you'll see that there's a fair amount of water in there and you're going to need to do it. So it's almost by a, a run by run basis. And it, and it pretty much depends on what you're freeze drying. If you're freeze drying like, you know, milk or something like that, if it's going to take a lot of water out, then you're probably going to have to change it immediately after doing that. But if you're freeze drying something that, um, you know, like a, like a food item that doesn't have a lot of water in it. You know, like we're getting ready to put some dog treats in here and the dog treats are baked. They already are, don't have a whole lot of water. So we'll be, uh, probably would be fine to not change it after this run and get another run out of it. Um, because we're recycling our oil, the, these, when did we get this pump? We got this pump. Um, gosh, I don't even remember. <laughs> it's like six months ago. It's I don't all know. blended together. Yeah, then. yeah. I think it was like six months ago. And this is, I'm still working with the original oil <laughs> that we got. I don't know. I've seen stuff where people are like only use it four times and stuff. And I attempted to put dates on it and kind of follow track by dates. And, um, it turns out that, you know, as long as it looks pretty clear, I'm still using it. I don't, I'm, I'm not seeing a whole lot of problems here. It does become less and less. You get less and less oil with each pour, but, um, so eventually we are going to have to use oil and this is the oil that, that we get from Harvest Right. There's been mixed reviews. Some people have had problems with it. We have not, we have not had problems with it. There are 
other types of oil that can be used. Um, and I have seen some of that and maybe we'll try some out in the future, but right now I'm, I'm still working with what I got and it's working fine. So it's getting close. Now, if I was to tip this a little more just to see. And if you had a lot of water in there, this is the point where the water starts coming out. It doesn't look, doesn't look too bad, but that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that. I'm gonna take the the tilt out and I'm going to put this here and this is my oil from last time that got filtered out and I am going to start putting it in. And as a matter of fact, it's probably I like it better just pouring like this. The nice thing about doing it this way is, you know, you pretty much know what you have in this container should be about what you need. You might have to take a little bit out of that other one because like I said, it becomes less and less. So I've almost emptied this one out it's starting to come and it's up. starting to come up, but it's probably not going to come up all the way. So I'm going to end up having to use a little bit of the other oil that we just filtered out to just bring it up to the line. And there is a delay on the mm -hmm. oil level line. Now I have gone a little bit over before. <laughs> now it stopped. <laughs> yep. The delay and is probably over, a little bit over is way better than being under and as a matter of fact i think i want just a tad more um yeah you're at the line because under is oh that probably was too much but under is not where you want to be a little bit over is okay but under absolutely not that will affect your your vacuum pressure so that's it that's all it is that's how long it took forever foods farm signing out bye